Hello and welcome to Awaken Bait. I am your host Chapati and in this show we're going to go to a second part of our Next Generation series and this is we'll be talking about pregnancy and natal care. What do we do, what do the women do and the men and all this and all that. So uh, we have our wonderful grown-up doctors here from Mumbai, India, Dr. Sumita Prajapati and Dr. Demendra Dubey. Welcome, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question for you. Once the sperm and the uh, the uh, egg unite, what actually happens here? See, according to Ayurveda, there is a simple definition for fetus. It is called Shukra Shonit Jiv Sayoge Tu Kalu Kushi Gate Iti Garbha Sangya. Let me try that. Shuta Kur Shok Shuti Kar Kar Shuk. Ah, you go. Yeah, that means Shukra means the sperm and the uh, shukra shown it means oh when these two inno, inno, uh, means meets then there is a fertilization and when the life comes in that then a fetus is formed so at the first month itself or during the time of conce conception itself there is a life so you have to be very careful when uh, the fetus is already developed you know your lifestyle your diet should be very uh, interesting because anything in uh, wrong in your diet and lifestyle can affect oh. the soul or the fetus because already the fetus has soul when they meet what when does the soul actually enter the body as soon as the shukra and shown it means sperm and ovum meets and the fertilization happens the soul enters the body and in the fourth month the heartbeat starts to come so we feel that at the fourth month the soul comes, but in according to Ayurveda, it comes, the soul enters in the body during the time of conception itself. Mm. And in the fourth month there is a heartbeat, so we feel the soul has come at the fourth month. Yeah, so maybe there is some more life when the yeah. heartbeat starts going. Yeah. Then it maybe becomes, before it's more of the mother, Yeah. and then it has its own self, so yeah. that is maybe when the, the Atman, Atma, yeah. Comes in. Comes in, yes. yeah. I see, right. I see. Okay, good. Um, I'm wondering here, is there a way uh, that the, the, the men, um, or we should say the women, we should say, uh, a style, a life, lifestyle or a diet that is best to, to have after this or during the time of natal care? Yes, during the pregnancy, uh, they should avoid traveling or uh, going on the bumpy roads because there are more chances of uh, miscarriage in first three months. Then uh, they should always take an afternoon nap for like 15 to 20 minutes lying down on the left lateral position mm. and they should put a little pillow in between both the legs to relax the uterus. And there are many other lifestyles. Mm, mm. I know there's something uh, I can't remember when I was in my mother's womb. But I know music. Music has a very uh, good effect. Uh, can you say something about yeah. it? See, uh, it's not only the music. There are so many things which mother should take care mm -hmm. during the time of pregnancy. You know, like in India, they used to read spiritual books. They used to listen to a calming music, which calms their uh, uh, mind and anger and frustration, and they feel very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there are certain mantras they can recite then they can do certain yoga uh, which can help them for a good delivery and a good development of their child. So there are so many things they can do uh, during the time of pregnancy, not only to listening music but doing mantra, reading spiritual books, listening to uh, the, or reading Bible or Bhagavad Gita, you know, yeah. so these all things they can do. Okay, good, good. So we want you to come back and stay with us. We'll talk a little bit about the different... Uh, Phases of natal care. This is Awake and Bake. I am your host, Chapati. We'll see you soon.